What if ordinary stressful events in life could kill you? For patients diagnosed with a rare hormone deficiency called Addison's disease, these kinds of events can actually be lethal. These patients can no longer produce hormones that protect against stress. The part of the body that produces these hormones, the adrenal cortex, has been destroyed by their immune systems. The current treatment, which hasn't changed for decades, is lifelong hormone replacement therapy. And despite treatment, patients still lack an ability to naturally adjust levels of these hormones in response to stress. If these hormones get too low, they face a life-threatening emergency. What if new therapies could be developed that could prevent the immune system from attacking the adrenal cortex? Unfortunately, several obstacles stand in the way. The disease is rare. Only four per 1 million people are diagnosed each year in the US. Symptoms are generic and frequently mistaken for other less serious ailments. These factors make it hard to find enough patients to fill a study at an early enough stage to develop and test new treatments. A key to unlocking this problem just might lie with our canine companions. Dogs are the only other species that commonly get the disease. Just like in humans, the immune system attacks and destroys the adrenal cortex. Clinical features and symptoms are also shared. But in certain dog breeds, the disease is 100 times more common than it is in humans. This makes it easier to find cases and high-risk populations can be identified by breed. What we don't have is a tool to predict which dogs in these high-risk populations will get the disease. Such a tool would allow us to identify candidates for early intervention studies. And this is where my PhD research steps in. My research seeks to find a molecule in the blood that is unique to dogs with Addison's disease. I have collected blood samples from healthy and sick dogs from high-risk breeds and I'm evaluating these samples for such a molecule, also called a biomarker. The dog pictured in the slide is my dog. He's a Portuguese water dog, one of the breeds that are at highest risk for the disease. Antibodies, also pictured in the slide, are proteins shaped like the letter Y that bind to other proteins in the body that are perceived as risks by the immune system. My preliminary data is consistent with the presence of an antibody biomarker in recently diagnosed dogs. Antibody biomarkers are common in many types of autoimmune diseases like Addison's disease. My next step is to identify what protein the antibody is binding to. Once this target protein has been identified, I can use this knowledge to develop a screening test for the disease, which would be revolutionary. A screening test that can identify dogs in the early stages of disease will make new treatments to stop the disease possible. This will help us lay the groundwork to achieve our long-term goal of preventing the disease in both humans and dogs.